A lot of films and TV shows are filmed here in Georgia, including Ozark and parts of Black Panther. But a new bill introduced in the legislature could bring down the state's film industry. The measure calls for an end to the state's generous tax credit for filmmakers. 11 Lives Doug Richards takes a look at what it does and why there's a push to repeal it. Filmmakers didn't aggressively set up shop in Georgia until after the state passed a law that created a generous film tax credit. That was in 2008. Thank you all for coming this morning to celebrate a Georgia-grown industry. Three years ago, state officials and the film industry were at the Capitol to pat each other on the back for taking advantage of the tax credit and making Georgia the industry's top destination. Today, to stand here and think that we're number one in the world, in Georgia, just blows my mind. But the cost to taxpayers is implicitly criticized in a House bill quietly introduced this week that would eliminate the tax credit. State audits and other studies say the film industry is essentially picking the pockets of taxpayers with the blessing of state officials. The Georgia film tax credit is not physically sensible at all. It absolutely does not pay for itself, and it is a huge expense on the economy. Kennesaw State economist J.C. Bradbury wrote one of the studies. We reach $9.5 billion in economic impact. That assertion, according to the KSU study, lacks any economic justification, which said the actual impact is less than half that. The motion picture and television industry now is responsible for 92,000 jobs. Likewise, instead of 92,000 jobs, the KSU study said the actual impact is about one-third of that, saying each film job costs the state budget upwards of $119,000, which figures at about $220 per Georgia household. So that's $200 that's coming out of the pockets of Georgia taxpayers that's mostly being sent to California. Bradbury acknowledges the film tax credit has been popular anyway, not only among filmmakers, but also Georgia politicians. One lone Republican Gwinnett County lawmaker is sponsoring House Bill 441, which would repeal the film tax credit. It will have trouble getting any traction this year.